strong. Why the world is going crazy and how to win back our minds. Have you ever just stopped and thought, wow, the world is like a reality TV show on a sugar rush? Oh, you mean like Keeping Up with the Kardashians meets Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory? Exactly. It's like every day, there's a new twist or turn, and it's not even the season finale. I know, right. I feel like we are all part of this grand sitcom and the universe is the scriptwriter having a field day. And there's never a rerun. Every episode is more bizarre than the last one. Seriously. I am just waiting for the day when I wake up and find out we have a new kind of weather called Rainbow Rain. Huh, that wouldn't surprise me one bit. With how things are going, that's probably next week's headline. I'll get my colorful umbrella ready then. So, what do you think? Why is the world going off the rails? Well, my first theory involves alien mind control and the overuse of social media. Huh, so we're all just puppets in an extraterrestrial Twitter drama? That's rich. It's as plausible as any other explanation, don't you think? Anyway, what's your theory? I think it's the squirrels. They've been waiting for their moment, plotting in the parks and trees. Now, they're finally taking over. Ah, the long-awaited squirrel revolution. Of course, it was always them, wasn't it? With their fluffy tails and innocent eyes, perfect for a global takeover. It all makes sense now, doesn't it? But remember, we've figured it out, we're on to them. Absolutely. I'll be keeping a close eye on the squirrels in my garden from now on. So, how's this global craziness impacting your daily life, Leah? Well, every morning, I wake up and wonder what season of planet Earth, unscripted we're in today. You and me both. I've started referring to my calendar by event instead of date. Today is Unexpected Celebrity Runs for President Day. Right? It's like, oh, it's we discovered a new element day. I wonder what tomorrow will be. And don't even get me started on the mental gymnastics I've been doing to keep up. Yeah, it's like being in a constant state of mental Olympics, isn't it? But I guess it keeps the brain sharp. True. If anything, we'll come out of this with gold medals in mental resilience and adaptability. Now there's a positive spin. Here's to becoming mental gymnasts in a world that's forgotten its routine. So, how do we win back our minds from all this chaos, Leah? Well, I've started by making conspiracy theories about mundane things. It gives a sense of normality. Huh, so like suspecting that your coffee maker is in cahoots with your toaster to ruin breakfast? Exactly! Or believing that my left sock is hiding from me on purpose every laundry day. You might be onto something there. I've lost count of how many socks have disappeared in my house. It's a global conspiracy, I tell you. Anyway, what about you, Alex? Any strategies? I've decided to start treating news like horoscopes. They are interesting to read, might or might not be true, but don't dictate my day. That's a good one. I'll have to try it out. Maybe we can't stop the world from being crazy, but at least we can control how we react to it. So, in this sea of craziness, we found our own ways to keep sane, haven't we? Absolutely. It might be a crazy world out there, but that doesn't mean we can't find our own pocket of sanity and humor in it. That's true. Maybe the key to surviving a world gone mad is not taking it too seriously all the time. I think you're right. After all, laughter is the best medicine. So here's to finding humor in the chaos, to wearing mismatched socks and to not believing everything we read. To humor, socks, and discernment. That sounds like a pretty good plan. Agreed. 
If anything, this will make for some great stories in the future. Definitely. Can't wait to tell my grandkids about the Great Squirrel Revolution of 2023.